Hello guys, today I'm going to show you guys on how you can connect your GCP instance using SSH on Mac OS. If you are looking for a way to connect to your GCMVM using Windows, you can check out my previous video. It should be appearing on top anytime from now. For this tutorial, just going to need an inbuilt terminal in Mac OS. But before that, let me explain to you how it works. You need to create a two key of pair which is the private and public key. You put your public key inside your GCP instance and then you try to connect to that instance using the private key. To get started, simply launch your terminal windows on your Mac OS. Once launched, you can type in this command to generate a private and public key pair. You need to put ssh keygen dash t rsa dash f so that you can specify where you want to save the key. And then dash capital C. Capital C stands for command. And after command, it comes with your username. Please remember your username because you will be using it later when you try to connect to your instance. I'm just going to hit enter now. Once you hit enter, you're going to notice it will ask you for a passphrase. Passphrase is simply like a password. You'll need to input this back when you're using a private key later. Enter your passphrase. Now verify back your passphrase and hit enter. Once you hit enter, you're going to notice that two files is being generated at your desktop. The first file is key. This is the private key and the second file is key.pub and this is the public key. So on the second step now you need to paste the public key inside your GCP instance. I'm going to log in into my GCP using Google Chrome. Once logged in, you simply click on the sidebar menu and go to Compute Engine. Click on the instance name. Click on the edit button over here. Scroll down until you find you have zero SSH keys. Click on the show and edit button. This is where you need to paste your public key. So now I'm going to go back to the public key. I'm just going to double click on this icon. I'm going to choose a default application which is the text edit. Once launched the text edit, you should see your public key. Copy your public key and paste it inside the GCP. Once you paste it, you're going to see your username over here. This is the username you need to put when you try to connect to your instance later. Click on the save button. Once this is saved, you are ready to connect to your instance using a private key. Now let's try to connect to your instance using the private key. Simply type in ssh-i your private key path your username at your IP. So I'm just going to launch back my GCP and find back the IP address. I'm going to copy this IP address and paste it over here. I'm going to hit enter. For the first time, it will ask you a fingerprint questions. You can simply put in yes and hit enter. It will ask for the passphrase that you created just now. Simply put the passphrase and hit enter. And that's it guys, you are inside your instance now. You can continue to do whatever you want to do with your instance. Thanks guys for watching. If you find this video is helpful, do subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up. That will help me to grow my channel.